For those of your latest headlines, hello and welcome to France Bank Cats. I'm Louise Hanna. One girl has been killed and at least seven people wounded after a bomb exploded outside a school in southern Italy. Well, let's cross live now to our correspondent in Rome, Seema Gupta. Seema, the local mayor there speaking about the name of the school. Could this be behind the attack? Uh, Seema, the attack has coincided with the 20th anniversary of the death of anti-mafia prosecutor Giovanni Falcone, who, as you said, the school is named after. Is there anything else about the timing of the attack? Thank you, Seema. Seema Gupta reporting there for us from Rome. Blind Chinese activist Chen Gang Chung is on his way to the US after boarding a flight at Beijing Airport. Well, let's cross live now to our correspondent in Beijing, Shannon Van Sant. Shannon, it was just over two weeks ago that Beijing gave the go-ahead to Chen studying abroad, and now he's ready to board a plane. Is it surprising how quickly this has all happened? So would you say that China's won here, or the US and Chen? It's an interesting question. Thank you, Shannon, for that update. That was Shannon Van Sant reporting there for us from Beijing. Some news in brief for you now. It's an issue that's divided many world leaders, but the heads of the G8 nations, countries with some of the biggest economies, will today try and thresh out a common approach to solving the Eurozone crisis. They're in the US at Camp David, the presidential retreat just outside of Washington. But the road ahead doesn't look smooth. German Chancellor Angela Merkel is determined to stick to austerity measures, while US and French presidents Barack Obama and Francois Hollande are pushing for growth. Both. In Syria, a car bomb <coughs> excuse me, has exploded in Deir Azor, the biggest city in the east of the country. And it was supposed to be the first ever attempt to send a privately built spacecraft to the International Space Station. The SpaceX's Dragon capsule was due to launch from the US to show it could take over the job of delivering cargo and eventually astronauts. But it's now been aborted due to technical problems that appeared minutes before takeoff. That's it for now. We're back in 20 minutes.